is up guys my name is Sammy Trafeo welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog now if you see what's right in front of me you probably know where we're at but if you don't know we're at a very cool shop and we're here to show you around and have a little fun so let's get out of the sunlight a little bit and welcome to throttle therapy motorsports now I'd say throttle therapy is known for two things one race cars two having fun and I think Andrew over here can uh, get behind that. What's up? What's happening, buddy? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing Boom. good, man, just playing with cars. Yeah, and so what do we have going on today? Today we're doing a uh, more track-focused alignment on this GT3 RS, or 992 GT3 RS. So that is correct. We are doing an alignment on a 992 GT3 RS, and one of them is right here, and that is one out of 150 in the world, which is crazy. And I think what makes this more special is the fact that it's guards red and it has the YZAC package. So you get a leather and race tech interior. You get the bucket seats, a bunch of carbon addition, and you also get magnesium wheels as well. And so talk us through how you start an alignment. Starting it is really just going through, checking over the car, remove the wheels. We install our setup wizard, um, which is an awesome, awesome system that we use on the race cars. Um, we have a couple of special pieces that allow us to adapt it to all the street cars. Um, rigging it up is a thing, installing all of the wheel hubs uh, that you can see here, the feet, and then those all sit down onto the scales, which are leveled with the laser. Um, they're centered with a laser, there's lots of lasers going on. Yep. Um, and then so now we'll get all those fired up and they will communicate to the computer, and then we'll do what we call a set down. So we're going to take all the measurements off the car static as it is, as okay. it came in, and then we're going to look at what we're going to do to make it go better. So while he's getting the sensors to connect to the computer, I want to go around and show you guys a little bit around the shop. It's small, but there's a lot of history here and I love it. So immediately off the bat, we have the two 992 GT3 cup cars. Both look very similar and I didn't even know they had two, but turns out they do. They're just slightly different on the liveries. Then we also have the 991 cup car right here, and you can see the differences subtly, how they kind of went for more of a more of a gooseneck wing than this setup right here. On top of that, right over here, we also have a ducktail in addition with the gooseneck, so it makes it that much more aggressive. And then over here we have a GT40 kit car with a 427 in the rear and then over here we got a gt2 rs which is arguably even crazier than the gt3 i don't know andrew which one would you take three rs or two rs pretty hard not to take that two rs it's very very gorgeous spec. it is it is very clean after seeing the 992 gt3 rs i still can't tell is it accurately rated or is it overrated let me know in the comments down below I think a bunch of the TikTok kids have very much oversaturated the car for sure, but it is still a very cool car nonetheless. So, next step in the process to actually not turn the car on, but turn the ignition on? Yeah, so to align these cars, all the GT cars with the rear steer, you actually have to have the ignition on to have the rear steer motors center, so you can get the toe correct. Okay. Um, and so to do that, you have to hook up a charger to the battery, because these lithium batteries don't like going low. And um, so that's why we've got the charger hooked up. And now I'm doing my least favorite part of any alignment, which is trying to square up the steering wheel. <laughs> so, uh, it, fun fact, and I'd love to see if anybody out there concurs. I feel like most of the bands sewn on the Porsche wheels are actually offset just oh. a tiny bit. Oh. I feel like it. I'm not, I'm not picking on Porsche. Um, but centering a wheel is crazy. There's no flat edges anywhere. That's, uh, that might, uh, mess with some purists there they're gonna be oh. it's, it's a marker so you know where up is so just as long as it's, right. there, it's a visual point um but like when you really truly try to line it up with anything in the car it's yeah a challenge which you know i'm trying to deliver the best product to customers mm -hmm. and that's a visual thing you stare at going down the road so. right you guys aren't just going out and race your cars you guys help other people race their cars too yeah which i think is super awesome and really great for the community as well yeah thanks man i appreciate it we're trying so we're taking care of street cars now at the track two, track support, and making sure you can spend yeah. the time driving and we take care of tire pressures and gas and everything else. One of the things I notice while he is centering up the wheel is look at the gauge right there. 
little tire pressure gauge on the 992 GT3 RS. It's its own little area too. And the whole dash, even though it's not monologue, it's digital. I love it. Absolutely love it. Totally modernizes the car. And look at you got the matte carbon fiber right there. And just the guard's red details. All in the stitching, the even the key and the vents right there too. So one of the things I forgot to mention on the 992 GT3 RS that is a pretty interesting fact. Not a lot of people know this, but they these fins right here serve a purpose. And so it's when all the hot air from the radiators up front come up and over, they get kind of deflected so that way they don't go into there be, and feed the engine hot air. If anyone's ever done alignments with uh, strings before, um, I don't know how many of y'all out there are motorsports nerds, but um, if you align a car with strings, which is an old school way, uh, matter of fact, new school way, I've aligned the current cards with them when, when stuff gets in a pinch. But um, to do strings, you have to have a perfect box, perfect square around the car. So you measure the strings off of the hub or another known center point. This tool, this bar, allows you to set up that perfect box by sliding these in and out. So this is essentially you adjusting your strings in and out. And then, so you match them front and rear, and then it'll read, shoot lasers front and back, and read an accurate toe. So while he's finishing over there, I wanted to come back over here and show you guys a little something that's even crazier. If you're not too big on Porsches, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, uh, maybe Lamborghini is more your style. That's right, boys. We got a, we got a Super Trofeo. If this, is, if this doesn't tickle your fancy, I don't know what will, because this car is absolutely insane. Now, I am a huge fan of the Super Trofeo Stradale and the Super Trofeo Omalagato, hence my name, Sammy Trofeo, if you've ever wondered why. And this is the Super Trofeo Evo. Now, if I could have any race car, it would definitely be this guy. Also, this car is for sale. I will put a link to it down below in the description, along with one of the 992 GT3 Cup cars. Those are both for sale, and I'll link them down below. Also, look at this huge rack of tires. Look at all those. And look at all these trophies to show these guys do mean business. Look at that. Sonoma. In my opinion, probably one of the weirdest tracks. Deck across. This is all out of the box. This is from the factory. Okay. And then yeah, you have weight percentages and everything like that. Yeah. Gotcha. So this is just the setup from factory. Mm hmm Okay. Yep. This is what we call a set down. So this is how it rolled in. Okay. So gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then how are we going to change it? So. Well, now I got to look at my back cave specs and then I'll make some changes and then we'll come back and we'll fill those in down here and awesome we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make it we'll make it better than this so while you're down there compared to <laughs> compared to yeah just, just keep it what up <laughs> compared to other cars that you've worked on mm -hmm. how is porsche they're great very way more simpler than uh yeah they're they're pretty simple i love them they're easy to work on um you know i'm familiar with them so that makes it easier um, but yeah they're they're great next we'll start up the cup car okay Fun fact is that they start to make the chassis in-house a little bit, but then they actually take it to a third party um, company to weld in the cage and fire suppression system. And the motor is very similar, but they just use a special exhaust, correct? No? That's yeah. what I read online. Yeah, yeah, it's just, this is just open Super Cup exhaust. Yeah. yeah. And obviously there's different exhausts you can buy because different countries and tracks have regulations. Primarily tracks, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, quiet, like we have quiet exhaust on that car over there. Thank you so much to Throttle Therapy Motorsport for having us and letting the channel see all the cool Porsche goodies you guys have to offer. And 
Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you um, for coming out. I appreciate you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah it was a pleasure yeah. seeing you. Absolutely. Yeah, and stay savage. Always. Yep. Like, subscribe, stay savage, my friends.